Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're back with another edition of the Sandship Crafting Station Saga. And today we're going to be showing you how to maximize your steel production output, producing all the different kinds of steel under one single roof. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, there are a total of eight different steel items to be crafted in the crafting stations themselves. We've got the steel, the steel plate, steel rod, spring, gear, chain, pipe and barrel. The steel wall cannot be crafted, it can only be bought and placed, so you don't need to worry about crafting that. In order to complete this strategy, we're going to be using the following items. You can see there's quite a lot there. Uh, total cost 19,000 credits, uh, which might seem like a lot if you're a new player, but as you advance through the game and you get higher rewarding contracts, this is less than the cost of one single contract, so it shouldn't be too much trouble as you advance through. We're going to be using a 16 by 12 building to fit all of this in, uh, and we're going to be using all of the space available, so you will need a similar size building to replicate this strategy. The first step we're going to do is place our synthesizers down in the following locations, as these are going to be the primary feed to our supplies. We're going to change the second and fourth synthesizer to carbon and leave the other three as iron. Now the next step is to firstly place our heaters at the top and then in the middle synthesizers we are going to be placing some splitters to separate the supply and at the very bottom again another heater. We'll then be placing our mixers down to produce the steel in gaps of two spaces. And then we will be placing our heaters at the output side of the splitters so the raw material is at the correct temperature. Now the idea here is to have four supply rows producing two different outputs each. The first row is going to consist of steel plates and steel wires. So we'll place a press and a splitter and the top row of the splitter is going to be the, the already completed steel plates and for the second row we need to place a cutter followed by a heater and a extruder before we finally export. Now we're just going to check that by turning the factory on and as you can see on the output side of things we are now producing springs and plates so this must be working. So, on to row 2, where we will be producing steel rods and steel barrels. It's the very same strategy again, press followed by splitter. Uh, for the first row we're going to put a cutter down, which will cut those steel rods and then finally export them. And for the second row, in order to make the barrels, we're going to need a heater followed by a shaper, selecting the correct recipe and finally exporting. testing it again we can see that on the output side we are now producing barrels and steel rods so this must be correct too so let's move on to row three again the very same strategy we're going to put a press down followed by a splitter and here we're going to be producing steel pipes and steel chains So in order to do that, the first row needs to have a heater on, followed by a grabber and a mechanical assembler. 
and we're going to select this steel pipes recipe for the top row put another grabber on the end and then finally export and for the second row we're going to do exactly the same except put a cutter at the front in order to cut the steel into steel rods before the mechanical assembler turns them into steel chains. Testing again, we can see we now are producing steel pipes and steel chains, so this one must be working too. Now for row 4, this is going to consist of steel in its raw form and steel gears. We don't need a press this time, but we do still need a splitter. In order to produce the steel, we are just simply going to put an exporter down as it's already produced from the mixer. And in order to produce the gears, we are going to need a heater, followed by a press and a shaper, selecting the steel gear recipe and finally exporting. Now we're just going to test that again to make sure it does work. And as you can see, we are now producing gears and steel. And when run all in one go, we are now producing all eight different steel items under the same roof. Having them all produced under the same roof is a massive benefit and you can have a steady supply for any contracts or challenges that you need to complete. Now you can also save this guys if you go to blueprint. Now once you've brought up the blueprint you can see all the production and the required materials. Uh, it also tells you the price as we indicated earlier of 19,000 credits. You can give it a name and a little icon and finally save that so it's ready if you want to duplicate it onto another factory where you can then produce double the output. So that's it guys. That's our strategy in producing all the steel items. If you've got any comments or questions, do please let us know. I would be very happy to have a look and see how you guys are getting on. Other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time.